Hey guys, it's Gwen Fox and I want to talk today about transparent versus opaque colors. What's the difference? How does it, how does it affect your painting? So now let's, let's look at this transparent. You can see through, you see what's underneath, whatever you've got underneath. If it's a plain canvas or paper, guess what? you have this wonderful glow that's coming up. This, it's awesome. And that's the beauty of starting out with transparent colors versus opaque colors. Now it all depends on how you want the painting to, what it wants to look like, what it wants to say. Now, what about opaque colors? Opaque colors, actually, if this is the, if this is your surface, Opaque color will come on and reflect. It does not show anything that's underneath. So what about semi-transparent and semi-opaque? Well, semi-transparent has been mixed with a little bit of opaque and it's thinned down so that when you put on, some of it reflects and some of it is see-through. And the same with opaque is that semi-opaque, it is the same. You can see through it a little bit, but it reflects as well. So if you want a glow in your painting, if you want it to be luminescent, then you are going to want to use transparent colors. Now let's say that you do a painting, be it abstract, be it whatever it is, flowers, it doesn't matter, that you've used transparent colors all at the beginning. And by the way, you can mix as many transparent colors as you want, and there's no mud. It's a gorgeous brown, but there's no mud. Now once you start mixing the, the opaques, you will get some mud but that's just how it is. So let's say that you've done this painting and it's all transparent colors and it's gorgeous, but you need some neutrals in there and neutrals are gonna cause you to go to the opaque side of things. And so you put on an opaque and it's just like, oh my gosh, it looks terrible. It does, it looks like it's pasted on because it's near all this luscious, luminescent colors, and then this color comes on and it's flat. It's kind of dead. So what do you do to bring it back to life? Well, what I do is I put a transparent over it. Now, here's another thing that I do. I will put, I will put the transparent over it, but I will leave a little bit of that color, that opaque color showing. Why? Well, I can always cover that up, but I can never get it back. And it kind of shows the history. And that's what I'm, I'm kind of interested in is the depth that it's going to show. <clears throat> now, with that said, if you do semi-opaque, then you're much better off after, if you transition from the transparent to the semi-opaque, it's a much easier transition. It's much easier to understand, and it's much easier to visual. The image is much easier to take in. So I hope this has helped, because you want to start out with transparency if you want glow. You, might, you, you need to understand the opaque colors because they're gorgeous. And you make your neutrals out of the opaque colors. And you guys know, I hope by now, that I think that neutrals are your very best friend. But the next video we're going to do, I'm going to show you these things to show you exactly how they look together because 
I think it's important we're visual people. We need to see this. So next time, next video, that's what we're going to do. And so what do I want you to do today, this week? Because every week we kind of have this little thing. You know, you know, we all make, I don't know, well, maybe we all don't, but I make lists every day. I make lists. Do you make lists? Am I the only one? But anyway, if you do make lists, that's great. And you're going to make another list this week. You know, you always make your to-do list and your everything. You got it all out there. Today and this week, you're going to make a not-to-do list. Why? It's as important as the to-do list. What are you not going to do this week? It will be very interesting. And I would love, love, love for you to share some of the things that you're not going to do. Just maybe one. You're not going to do whatever. But anyway, I've enjoyed being with you. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's helped you. And so we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a great week. Love you. Bye.